The Forest School Association is a national body who recognise schools that offer a hands-on learning experience in natural and woodland areas. There are currently 29 recognised forest schools in the UK, with South Hills Nursery Provider in Salisbury being awarded their title of an official forest school on the 17th of February. So we went for the recognition uh, just before Christmas and put the evidence together, but we've had a outdoor learning here for as long as there has been a setting here. Uh, we started off in sort of 1997, there's been a farm here and outdoor learning has always been a part of what we do. Um, as far as the forest school goes, that's something that we introduced in 2015. Myself and Joe went and got qualified as forest school leaders uh, and the, the programmes developed from there, although it's always been in the background of what we're doing. It's nice to have the official recognition. They say the calm and relaxed learning environment means no child will feel out of place providing opportunities to all different types of learners. The children, as you, as you can see, absolutely love it and get, get royally stuck in. And I don't think even realise that they're, that they're learning things. And that's what's so nice about it. It's something that is so natural. It's just something that they're, they're enjoying. It's an experience rather than a lesson. The brilliant thing about outdoor learning is that you, you don't miss anyone out. You can be a physical learner or a visual learner or an audio learner. Um, whereas inside, your physical learners can get a little bit forgotten, a little bit missed out. So the, the fact that there's a multi-sensory element to outdoor learning, and in fact what we do indoors, we do Montessori method indoors, uh, which just means we're trying to, trying to make sure that everyone has access to the same opportunities. The South Hill Nursery site in Wilton also has a farm hosting an array of animals which aims to take sensory learning to a whole new level. They have a chance of actually grooming some of our animals so they can groom the ponies. They can have hands on with the sheep so they do a lot of hand feeding with them. It depends on what they've got, just what they can do. They can clean out the rabbits, they've got hands on with the chickens. They help to groom the ponies and do their feet. They help tack up and they also ride them as well. And when it's really icy cold, <laughs> we have to go and break the ice in the water trust. The children quite enjoy watching that happening and then they can see how thick it actually gets. It does get very, very thick sometimes. You can apply all sorts. You can do uh, maths along with, alongside, so you count how many animals there are, how many chickens, how many eggs they've collected. Um, they will be very hands-on, it's very tactile. They learn to care. The de development on caring, they're coming on leaps and bounds. It helps them care for each other as well because they're caring for animals and they get very knowledgeable. So when we have chicken eggs, when they go cut the eggs, they'll go home to mum and say, you haven't got fresh eggs, mum. <laughs> These are the fresh eggs, they're really yellow inside. They claim the children find themselves in a safe adventure park of information, learning new things and life skills as they go along. We have bug hunting available all the time and mark making, and we have activities such as digging, they can build dens, they can role play, they can climb everything you would want to be able to do you can do outdoors. They learn skills that they don't necessarily learn inside out here so skills like resilience so they will give something a go like climbing they might not get it straight away but they will build up and they just resilience to keep going. They learn independence a lot more because they're free to just go and explore their own learning and what their own interests are and I think that's skills that they could get from inside but they build on it from outdoors um, and everything that we have in the curriculum base so from babies to preschool they can do it all outside so take literacy for a, for example we can have the baby's mark making mark making and then it can go all the way up to writing with the older ones so they are doing everything that they would be doing inside but they're learning it outdoors and all throughout the year the activities will change while the children's education continues to grow we have different things going on depending on what time of year it is so at the moment we've had our lambs born uh, and the children are able to uh, be getting used to handling them and interacting with them um, as well as having pony rides going on all year round. Uh, we've got chickens so we take the eggs into the incubators, um, alpacas just for something a bit different. Um, so again really it's about experiences. You, you learn best by what you've done rather than what you've been told so it's really making sure that the children can see it firsthand and experience it. Now the nursery has been recognised as an official forest school, they are able to continue with their way of education with this accolade behind them. Ella Wilkinson, That's TV.